Hey, what's up, watchers? How you doing? Thank you for tuning in my channel today. On the real though, is Cheez It a chip or a cracker? Like, I just really like the word is cracker, and it says cracker on the box, you know, something like that. But, but I'm highly feeling like it's a chip to me. I, I eat it like a chip, you know. Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but I personally eat it like a chip. Anyways. Today I'm actually gonna share a story time with my watchers and you know it's it's something that in the moment wasn't funny to me but now that I look back at it it was pretty funny and I figured you know what let me share this with my watchers. But I want to share with you the day my brother decided to fight me over two Oreo cookies. Yes and I'm not scratching this out, I'm not exaggerating, I'm very very sure I'm saying this the correct way. My brother legit beated me up for two Oreo cookies. And this is how it all started. So I was in middle school, at least seventh grade. Yep, yeah, I was in seventh grade. And my brother, I think he was in his freshman year of high school. And he was in the football team. So I first uh, came home. I came home from after school. Uh, it looks like I was the only one home. My sister was home, my parents was at home, and I had a cousin who stayed with us at the time. He wasn't home either. I was the only one home, and I rushed in the door and, uh, you know, ran to the pantry cabin and was just looking for something to eat. And legit, the only thing to snack on, other than ice cream, but I was in the mood for ice cream, you know. It was like, kind of like the evening. I, I, I didn't even have no... Lunch. No, I had lunch. I didn't have no dinner. You get what I mean? It's not like I had dinner and I wanted ice cream. It's like ice cream, you know. But the only thing to snack on was legit these Oreo cookies. Like, boom, they were right there. Like, and the Oreo cookies is for everyone. Let me remind the Oreo cookies. My mother bought it for the household. So this was the only thing, and I opened it, and legit, it was only two left. Two Oreo cookies left, and. I ate them things like the Cookie Monster ate a cookie. Like, those things were gone before I even knew it. Like, mm, 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 mm. I, I could still taste it. Like, till, these day, till this day, those two last two Oreo cookies do not taste the same as other Oreo cookies to me, you know? I was starving and it, it was what, I wasn't fully full after eating them, but it, it really made me satisfied to have those last two cookies. So later on, after the cookies, I ate the cookies, I went on the computer and started playing some uh, computer games. I, I don't know if people still do computer games. Do people still do computer games? Like, you know, like, you know, go on the computer to play games and stuff like that? I mean, it's probably not the same, you know? Um, I, I used to go on these two websites all day. It was Max Games. And then after Max Games, I would go on Mini Clip. Or I would go on Mini Clip first and then go on Max Games. And remind me, they had like arcade games in them. So that's kind of why I was always on these two. I had arcade games to go to attend and everything. And I could spend like from coming over from after school till it's time for me to go to sleep. I'll forget to eat. Which is why I made sure I came home, ate, and then go on the computer. Yeah, MaxGames.com. Oh, it looks like. Looks like it went mobile, apparently, maxgame.com. I guess, I guess it has a mobile thing to it. Let me see if, let me see if Miniclip still exists. Yep, and the Miniclip went mobile too. Yep, Miniclip they have, I guess these things still exist, but I'm not really into computer games anyway, so that's, that's over with. But anyways, after about an hour of playing computer games, uh, my brother came home and he seemed already frustrated from football practice, you know, so I was too distracted playing games to say hi and he seemed too upset to say anything to me. Now here's where sh gets twisted. My brother goes into the freezer and pulls himself out of uh, the vanilla ice cream and he takes a whole bowl of ice cream. I'm talking like you have a bowl and the ice cream was legit filled to to the rim like you know how you, you overstack it and when it melts a little you know that thing got to the rim like and that was legit what was left of the ice cream too so he gets a whole bowl of ice cream for himself 
for himself and then leave, put the ice cream down, goes in the pantry, and then screams, where are my cookies? Boy, I know this man was not talking about the Oreos that mommy bought for the household for everyone to eat. So me just doubting that it's the cookies, those cookies he's talking about, I get up and hit the corner of the, of, of the kitchen and you know I'm scratching my head confusingly because I'm like mm, there's no way he's talking about the, the cookies for the house because he said my cookies. You see that's my thing. He said where are my cookies so to me I'm feeling like okay I didn't touch his cookies I ate the pantry cookies you know I ate the cookies for the house. I ate the Oreo cookies that mother bought for the household so I wasn't really too worried about how upset he sounded. I'm like, okay, let me see what he's talking about. So I hit the corner, scratch my head like, what cookies? <laughs> there ain't no way he talking about the two Oreos. This guy shouts, I'm talking about the two mother Oreo cookies. Oh, sh Now, let's backpedal a little bit. We, I need you watchers to really see the injustice here that just took place now my mother bought oreo cookies for the household this is for the household and so the oreos are something that everyone been snacking on including my brother so everyone been eating on the oreo cookies okay and somehow i don't know why but somehow when it was down to the last two the last two cookies, they were for my brother. I don't know if they had their his initials in them. I don't know, maybe I ate them too fast and didn't recognize his name on the cookies. But somehow, when it came down to those last two Oreo cookies, they were specifically for him. It's not like he told me the night before, don't touch it. It was like, I get home first, I see the cookies and I ate them, but yet those cookies became his cookies. Remember, this man shouted saying, where are my cookies? I already lost. I already lost this battle the minute he said my cookies when he shouted for them. Because in his mind, it is set straight that the cookies are for him. So there goes the injustice there. The injustice was that already I was put on the wrong end of the field because the cookies that are for everyone was somehow, the last two was just somehow for him. So already, I, I knew this was a battle that I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing. Now, do you see the unfairness there? The last two cookies were for him somehow. Like, that's it, like, boom, point blank. So, you know how you go into court and you're innocent until pro proven guilty? Yeah, that was the other way. I was wrong for eating the last two cookies because they were for him and I don't know I guess I had to prove that no they weren't but I don't know how to prove that when clearly he didn't even buy the cookies my mother bought them and it was for the household and everyone was eating them now I was pretty scared though I was pretty scared because I had to tell him I ate the last two you know because to me it was like I see the injustice but I didn't know what can I do about it so I just told him like, hey, yeah, man, I, my bad, I ate the last two. My brother just gets in this huge uproar. Like he was upset, you know, like like as if I stole from him and whatever. This man, pretty upset. But you know, I just go back to the computer and play, play, start playing my games. Cause I wasn't really too bothered by it. Cause you know, in my mind it's like, they're, they're just Oreo cookies. So I, I just didn't really say much. And then, but then I felt like this man was getting too out of hand because now he started kind of like calling me out of my names, you know, like, you know, like, oh, you stupid, you, you're greedy. And it's okay. Now these words, uh, these words aren't big words, but I was in middle school. So understand to me that hurt, you know, you call me stupid and I was making straight A's in middle school. So when you call me stupid, yeah, that, that hurt. And, you know, and if you call me greedy and it's like dude i'd be starving out here like my mommy and daddy barely give me lunch money i can't even buy cookies at the school you know like see now that hurt you know things like that hurt because you know i'm in middle school so those little words you know 
Yeah, you calling me out my name, you know, like that that's profanity to me, you know. I was like, you know, like what? Like how am I greedy? Like how am I stupid? Like he's like telling me to shut up, you know, and I'm like, Well, why should I shut up? You're seeing these things like I would shut up if you shut it up, you know, like I would have not responded to him if he's not saying things so so harsh to me, you know. Like at first I'm not paying it no mind, you know, I'm just like clicking away in my games, just trying to do me, but it's like he's saying things that's actually offending me. And so, you know, I just have to hit him where it hurts. I was all like, how are those two Oreo cookies yours? Boom. Drop the bomb on him. Minute I said that, this man came to my face. Like, they my Oreo cookies because I was barely eating them. Like I said, Everyone was eating on the cookies, including him. And now he's saying those last two are for him because he barely ate. Even if that was true, how is this my fault? Like, I really don't get, what does that have to do with me? And again, he didn't tell me that. Hey, he didn't tell me, that, like, hey, don't touch those two oil cookies. They're for me, you know? So, you know, now he's in my face and now I'm feeling like, okay, dude, like, well, I don't care now, you know, now it's like to the point where I don't care, like they're just cookies. Like, say what you want, they're just cookies, it's gone, you know, now I'm getting sick, like, would you like me to throw a uh, uh, hair, hair, you know, I'm like, you want me to throw it up for you, like, do you really want them, do you really need them right now? You know, like, how bad do you need this cookie, let me know, I can't buy it, but I can vomit it for you, like, it's getting me that mad, because it's like, dude, like, you're overly angry over two Oreo cookies, like, not even a pack you know and it wasn't even or cookies that you bought with your own money so you know now he's getting even more upset and this and that and okay i'm not gonna lie at one point uh he did walk away or whatever but now i'm in the heat of the moment now i'm in the heat of the moment because i felt like i think he thought he won <laughs> so now since i'm in the heat of the moment and he thinks he he won it's like nope that's not what's gonna happen. You're not gonna just get the victory like that. You know what I mean? Cause I don't know, I was the type of kid where um, not too many things really bothered me, but if you thought you got one on me and I felt like you didn't, I had to make sure you knew you did it. You know what I'm saying? I remember one time, I'm sorry, I'm gonna sidetrack a little bit. But one time my cousin threw a leaf at me and like we, we were beefing like real hard like I was nine years old and he was he was a uh, eight no or seven seven going to eight and we were like mad at each other and it was time for him to go and he picked up a leaf and he threw it at me now the leaf simply just touched me and fell that's all that's all the leaf did but my cousin however he said ha and ran see it took me three seconds to process what just happened. And, cause the leaf didn't hurt me, but in my mind, it was all like, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. He think he's gonna go home and win cause that leaf touched me. I take off. So I chased him. I chased him cause I'm like, nope, you're not gonna go home thinking you won over a leaf. Like, yeah, the leaf didn't hurt me, but his mindset hurted me. You know, his mindset, Hurt it. That's not even a word. His mindset hurt. Hurt it. No, hurt it is a word. His, his mindset made me upset, you know? Like, it was like, oh, he thought he thought he won? No, so I chased him. So it was kind of like that where my brother's yelling at me, and when he walked away, I really felt like he thought he won, you know? So when he walked away, I got out the seat. Now, you got to know. How upset I am. Remind you, I'm playing games on the computer, but I don't let the. I, I don't even remember hitting pause. Like I don't just got up and went to him and just set it off back. Like I'm not wrong for eating it. I'm not gonna feel bad for it. Da, da, da. And he's yelling back at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden, he tried to do one of his football drills and tackle me down. And you know, I wasn't letting that happen. So you know, I kinda like gave him a slap on the back. Like he was like tackling me and everything. You know, I'm just like slapping him on the back. Like get, get off of me. You know, like just doing that, you know, getting him off and whatever. And, and then he slipped. <laughs> Big fella slipped. And I was all like, ha, I felt like I won one on that. Even though it wasn't cause of my little slaps he felt, but he slipped, now he looked like a fool. So I'm like, ha, 
I'm pretty sure, yeah. Pretty sure he punched me. Now I'm sure he, he, he like punched me on my shoulders, you know. Punch on my shoulders. And you know, now I'm mad and I'm crying, whatever. And you know, he's still saying shut up. He goes down to his room. Like he's going down, he's about to go in his room and he left me like on the floor crying. And yeah, I was that dramatic. He hit me in my shoulders and I just collapsed. But uh, he left me on the floor crying and then he was going to his room. And right before he could get to the hallway and not see me, I get up, I took the big bowl of ice cream and I said, is this what you mad for, huh? You want the Oreos and this? Is, is this is what you're beating me up for? Is this what you want? I went for I threw the whole ice cream on the ground. And I was all like, eat that and, and all you saw was my brother standing down the hallway. And you know how the thing where it'd be looking like the hallway scratching, whatever, you know? Like you just see him at the end of the hallway, like, charging up as if he was a bull, you know, balling up his fist. You, you know, I could see the steam in this dude. And, you, yeah, you just see the steam. And, you know, he's like really upset. It was like a bull coming at me. And this dude, it, he didn't run. It's like he marched and then every march you could hear the thumps, you know. And this man came, he was running towards, he was not running, he was marching towards me and I'm backing up, I backpedaled into a couch. And this dude legit started boxing me out like a punching bag, you know, like, I don't know if you ever, if, if you know who The Undertaker is, The Undertaker is, uh, what, this is an icon wrestler in WWE, and he does this thing where he gets his opponent in the corner, and he just like, ooh, 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 like, he's just giving these jabs and these combos, and that's legit what this man was doing. And he just went in, and my body, like, my whole chest, abdomen, and arms, like, it was the point where my... I couldn't even hold like blocking my face no more. Like it hurt my arms that bad. I was like giving, giving, like giving up. Like you know, I just let my arms down. So he started going on my chest, and I just, I just had to take it. I just had to take it. I couldn't even lift my arms back up. It was, it was hurting. And then he was all like, and then I remember the last thing he said after he finished boxing me out. He was all like, um, "You lucky that it wasn't your face." Yeah. Said I'm lucky it wasn't my face, you know. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, so that happens, and now I'm like crawling. I'm like just crawling, like you know what? Around that time, we had a house phone. You know, I'm not even sure if house phones. It. No, they do exist. I don't know why they sell them at Staples, anyways. But you know, I went to get the house phone, and I'm like calling my parents. You know, I didn't. <laughs> I was too afraid to call 911. We had this 911 policy in my household. That was just so not allowed. <laughs> so, um, so I called my parents, but I really wanted to call the cops, and I wanted them arrested. Like, eff it. Like, you going to jail? Like, <laughs> uh, I felt, I felt like one of the girls that felt cheated on and done wrong. I'm like, how could you? Like, you know, you done cheated on me, and then you gonna lay your hands on me? Oh, you done effed up. You going to jail. Like, so I started calling my parents, you know, and, you know, it was hard because while I'm talking to them, he's behind me coming, so I had to, like, run, you know, and he started chasing me. I'm like, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. you know, I'm just like, he's trying to hit me. I'm like, he, what's going on? And he's like, what's going on? I'm like, Chelsea, Chelsea, you know, I'm just yelling, like, he's, like, chasing me, whatever. This dude's chasing me, like, give me the phone, give me the phone. I'm like, no, no. And, you know, like, we're just yelling, whatever, and I'm, like, running around the house in circles, you know, and he finally catches me. He gets the phone and throws it. Man throws the phone and it just boom shattered. I'm exaggerating. The battery came off, but the point is, you know, because the battery came off and all that stuff, I wouldn't have enough time to run and put it back and call because he's like he's like right on my tail on all my movements. So, you know, now I'm yelling and uh I don't know what I said, but you know what? I was that mad and I was that scared. I just, you know what, I'm going to play, I'm going to go back and play my game. <laughs> I, that, was the, that was the thing that rung up in my mind. Like, I guess I suddenly remember that I didn't even pause the game. I'm probably dead, and I'm like, I'm going back on the computer to play my game. He said something, I said something back. 
he came towards me and punched me so hard on my uh, rib cage. I, I felt like I, um, it's like I felt every knuckle between my ribs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what is it called? A cartilage or something? Uh, cartilage? It's called something. And I felt every knuckle between it. And it hurted so bad. Like I fell to the ground. And, you know, I was gasping for air because of like, you know, it, you know, I had to like, you know, like, uh, and then so I got up, so I get up, I open the door and I ran to our, to, to our neighbor's house. <laughs> I ran to our neighbor's house because like, I can't call my parents, you know, and this kid's just beating me up. Like, it wasn't a fight I was looking to win, but it was. It was just, you know, it was just that, and, and I ran to my neighbor's house. Now, this is the part where it does kind of get sad, cause um, my neighbor, uh, they they have a they have a they have a son, and his name is Peter. And Peter is like a brother to me, you know. So I ran to the house to go to Peter, but instead of Peter picking up, his dad uh, answers the door, and yeah, it's gonna get real sad from here because the dad opens it and automatically think I'm looking for his son and he said hey sorry Peter's not here now I remind you by the time I got to the door I don't wipe every tears try to keep myself straight and look perfectly fine and I'm barefooted you know like I'm there barefooted you know so it's like you know it's like that's how quickly I wanted to get out the house whatever I you know no one was gonna think oh get your sand you know I just ran and he's like, oh, Peter's not here. And I said, no, 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 like, all right, that, and I told him, that's fine, can I still come in? And he was like, and then he was like, why is that? You know, I just want to stay in, you know, for, just for my safety. And he's like, safety, what do you mean? So he steps out of his house, what, what's going on? He's looking over, he's looking over at my house, like, what, what's going on? And, and I was all like, oh, no, and this, this, <gasps> I just started boo-hoo crying and, you know, and it was so embarrassed. To this day, I'm I'm grown, and I I feel like does he ever remember? That? I I'm pretty sure he do. Like it's like does he ever like think back at that? Like I just started crying on his shoulder. Like me and my brother's fighting right now, and he's beating me up. You know. <laughs> oh, so he like like yeah, come in, come in. He's like all right, come in, come in. You know, like he was all like, did you call your parents? <laughs> and you know I'm. <laughs> Tried, you know, it's like I'm just crying. Like, he's like, all right, here's your phone. You know, damn, remember I had like, yeah. So I called my dad, and now I'm able to tell my dad the full story without being chased or tired and all that stuff. Cause I'm like telling my dad everything, and you know, my dad called uh, our cousin who lived with us at the time and sent him to um, go over and stop by and see what's going on. And then uh, what I didn't know, uh, I later on uh, that that the next day, uh, like no. The same time, uh, my friend came, uh, Peter came back home. You know, he came back home like eight minutes when I uh, when I was welcomed in. And you know, and you know, he was trying to figure out what's going on, this and that, blah blah. blah. But the next day, Peter told me we were still talking about it and everything. You know, asked me how I feel. And then it turns out um, when Peter wasn't home, he was actually somewhere else with his. Uh, with his uh, other friends, um, and these are like school friends, whatever you know, like. But um, so when he was somewhere else, but when I came home and he wasn't there, with the dad still let me in. His dad called him and said, "Yeah, man, where are you right now?" And Peter' response was, "Oh, I'm out chilling with Al Gore. We walking around, and you know." <laughs> So he lies to his father, tells his father that I'm with him when clearly I'm in his father's living room, but Peter doesn't know what's going on. So he lies to his father and I'm with me, and his father, I guess, just brushed his off and said, look, man, just get over here right now. And then he's like, uh, okay, you know, and Peter was kind of confused from like, whoa, like, because Peter has this thing where it's like, I'm not saying he could get away with whatever, but... His father, um, basically, let's put it like this. If Peter was with me, his father's like, all right, cool. You know, just let me know when you get home. It was kind of like that, you know. Like, it didn't matter what it was. It could have been somewhere his, um, his father told him not to go. 
But the minute Peter said, oh, yeah, I'm out here with Al Gore, like, the minute he said I'm, he's out with me, the father thought, all right, uh, just make sure you get home not too late. You know, it, it's all, it just, suddenly it, it passes through, everything's all good. Like, Peter at one point felt like, Gory, if I was to tell my dad I'm robbing a bank, and he would be like, what the, what you mean you're robbing a bank? He, yeah, you know, me and Gory just out here trying to rob the bank. Then he would be like, oh, all right, cool then. Just uh, make sure you get home to do your homework. And, you know, and don't come home too late. It was like that, you know, it was like that type of thing, you know. So Peter was kind of, kind of lost when he used my name and it didn't work. His dad still said, come home, like, like, look, just come home, you know. So he was like, uh, okay, you know, he came home. <laughs> and this man just sees me on the couch with red eyes and, you know, tears. And, you know, I, when he came, I did him say, like, grunt something under his breath. And, you know, I thought it was for me, but now I'm realizing, oh, you did that. Whatever you said under your breath, it's because <laughs> it's you got caught in your lie. You know, that's the whole funny part about it. He basically got caught in his lies, uh, uh, in his lie about saying he was with me. So he's like, dang, you know. So, but, so, to this day, Peter's like, man, why didn't you and Josie, why didn't you and your brother get y'all act together? Like, why out of all days? You know, like, you should have just got it together. <laughs> And he like got me over here lying to my dad and getting me caught. <laughs> later on, my later on my cousin came home and we, I guess I, I guess everything was resolved. I cleaned the ice cream off the floor. <laughs> yeah, I cleaned it off the floor. Um, I never had to throw up the Oreo cookies; they were still in my system. And um, yeah, that is my story of. How I got beaten up by my bigger brother over two Oreo cookies. Not two packs. I'm single-handedly talking about one, two Oreo cookies. And that is a very, very true story. I did not exaggerate on anything. I, like, if you ever see my brother and if you ask him, he will admit, yeah, I, I did fight him for the two Oreo cookies. I'm... I'm sure he would admit. And Josie, do me a favor. Leave a comment below saying, yes, everything is not exaggerated. He explained the story in full detail. That is exactly how it went down. Because that's, that's the truth. I have no reason to lie about it. So if you made it this far to the video, thank you for watching the whole video because we are coming to an end. Um, I am going to DreamCon August 10th to the, to the 12th. I'm going to be in Texas in the 9th, and I'll still be there till the 13th. So wish me luck on everything. Um, pay the VIP pass, so I'm going to really get to meet the people, like, you know, meet other idealist YouTubers and all that, comedians. And my goal is to share them about my book. I really, really want to share them about the book and see what they think and see what ideas or what kind of um, opportunities or... Um, what kind of uh, connections they can lead me with so you know this book can become an animation like comment share subscribe I'm gonna end, end this end off but it's sound. Sound. no I don't want to end it off with a soundtrack I'm gonna do something different I'm gonna just end this video